Hello VC, The Waxed here. It's been a while since I made a video, but I wanted to show a record haul I got today. Record Safari, one of my favorite record stores here in LA, was celebrating their second anniversary with a store-wide 20% off sale. But more importantly, like every day they're a new record store because they do a great job of finding records and putting new ones out. They saved up a bunch of, a bunch of killer, killer titles, especially for me, who mainly collects uh, jazz vinyl. So I wanted to show you what I was able to pick up. I got up early and I met up with the Jim from Record Collector News. I saw a bunch of other VC people, Vinyl Piper and uh, John Moreno. Um, it was a, a fun time. Fun time. We uh, There must have been a line of... Uh, at least 60 people that when they opened went in. Everyone was cool. Orderly, no one, no fights. People know how it works there. They have their wall records. They have their bin records. And for the most part, everyone was cool. So I'll just, let's get started showing you what I was able to pick up. <clears throat> I found this Pablo of Joe Turner and Jimmy Witherspoon. And it's autographed by Jimmy Witherspoon. I'm leaving everything in the plastic unless I show you what's inside but uh i don't i do have a few joe turners i did not know jimmy witherspoon did a record for pablo i'll take it out and i'll show you usually i mean do people play their pablos or did they just take care of them because generally when i find a pablo they are in minty condition and they're very affordable just so happens that this one is autographed who's it autographed to to walt I can't even read that last name. But Jimmy Withers, his autograph's on there, so I'm not going to take, I'm not going to do what I showed you with a dry erase marker and take it off of there. Cool. All right, next. What do I got here? Art Pepper, um, Artworks. This, you know, his run on Galaxy, which was a subsidiary oh, label for contemporary is killer. This might be the best one. This is still in the shrink. Um, George, George Horn, who did a lot of the uh, fantasy and, o, and o, OJC titles in the 80s. This was 1984. But look at this lineup. It's Art Pepper, and he plays clarinet on this. I don't know if he plays clarinet on anything else except maybe some live titles. George Gables, Charlie Hayden, and Billy Higgins. Uh, probably in the run for one of the best later R. Pepper records. I, if you don't have this, you get it. Killer. All right, what do we got here next? Ooh. <clears throat> so I have a few of these prestige twofers from the 60s. Although this is a 1971 or two reissue. But it's the same cover. And um, I don't have any Wardell Gray stuff. I know he passed away, I think... Young, I think he did. This is stuff that was recorded. It's a, a 2LP comp, 49 and 50, 53. I, there's one on here, but just some killer musicians that he's working with. Dexter Gordon, Art Farmer, Hampton Hawes, Clark Terry, Sonny Chris, just Sonny Clark, um, Roy Haynes. Roy Haynes is still around playing drums in his 90s. Crazy. But, um... Most these are on that green 1970s uh, prestige label. So look forward to listening to this. Next, what do I got here? This is the Eric Dolphy Memorial on VJ. I think I want to say this is one of the two titles, Iron Man. And I'm not going to look it up. I'm going off my lame brain Consol consolidations. or I think I'm wrong on that. But I think this is one of those titles. It has Jitterbug Waltz on it. So it might be Iron Man. And um, Henry, Huey Simmons, which I think is Sonny Simmons. Prince Lachey. Um, yeah, let me show you the... This, I think this is 70s, but I'm not sure. There's VJ, Black Label. So um, I've had this once before and sold it. But I picked it up. Maybe pass it on to someone else. We'll see. All right, this is a cool record. From what I understand, this is Chet Baker's Fusion record. True Fusion. I didn't even know he did a Fusion. This is on Horizon. Look, and he's carrying the beard. 
there. Looks, you know, reasonably with it. Um, but a killer lineup on here. He's playing with Michael Brecker, John Schofield, Ron Carter, Alfonso Johnson, Tony Williams, um, Kenny Barron, Don Sebesky, Hubert Laws. Just killer, killer, killer. Um, not a, not expensive record. If you find it, get it. It's worth it. If you especially, it's 1977. They did that. If you like Chet Baker. All right, I do not have any George Adams, but I was able to pick up a couple today. This is um, a Muse Re... Um, I guess they licensed Timeless titles, so this was originally put out on Timeless. Paradise Space Shuttle. Um, him with a Ron Burton, Don Pate, Al Foster, and a Deason Weston. Um, I don't... I, I have obviously just got these today. I haven't listened to them, so... But I'm very anxious to... Listen to some George Adams. And usually these uh, Muse tiles have blue labels, but since I guess these are timeless, I've never seen that. I actually don't own any of their timeless issues, reissues or issues. I guess they came out around the same time. Here's another one. This is on Soul Note, the Italian jazz label. With George Adams and uh, Donnie uh, Richmond. Who else are they playing on here? Hugh Lawson, Mike Richmond, and Jimmy Nipper. If you guys know stuff about these records that I don't know, please comment. All right. And the OJC, the Master Sounds. I believe the Master Sounds. I know is Monk, Monk, the Montgomery Brothers. Buddy, Monk, and I think Wes. Wes is on here. But what's cool about this OJC is they issued it on red vinyl like the original um fantasies i have a bunch of original fantasies on red vinyl so that's really cool and this is from 1984 i think in 1987 phil delancey master this cool next another amuse don patterson with um virgil jones eddie mcfadden and idris muhammad this is from 78. Why not? Why not? So it'd be nice to hope this is a, by the cover, a nice funky record to listen to. Picked up uh, the best of Sonny Rollins. This is a 1989 uh, Blue Note reissues. It doesn't say it's a DMM. But usually, I think mostly in 86 they did the DMM. But um, pretty looking. Mastered by Capital. So, no Rudy's. But, um, should be a good listen. Here's a, a cool one. Uh, I don't have, I think I want, have one Stan uh, Levy, who's a drummer. Stanley the Steamer, which has many meanings, but I assume it means he was kicking butt playing drums. This is an Infinity, which uh, this is a British reissue from the 80s. It's a 1955 uh, session where he's playing with Connie uh, Coletti, Coletti, Frank Rosato, Dexter Gordon, which says on the cover, Lou Levy, and Leroy Vinegar. And um, these sound really pretty good. They're affordable, those Infinity reissues. Uh, we got this Mingus, me, myself, and I. Um, I, I want to say this might have been his last record from 79, but it's a killer lineup. Just a killer amount of people. There's a photo of them. There's Mingus in the wheelchair there in the photo. I think, I don't know if this is in that Atlantic box that came out, but this is on Atlantic. But Joe Chambers, Donnie Washington, who's on the other one, Steve Gadd, Randy Brecker, George Mraz, George Coleman, Eddie Gomez, Michael Brecker, Larry Correll. Um, killer lineup on this. So, there you go. I found, There's a sealed record here. I know David. a lot of people are getting into David Murray. This is the David Murray um, quartet. He's playing with John Hicks, Reggie Workman, and Ed Blackwall's killer lineup on Black Saint. This is sealed. And now when it came out, it was... I don't know, one time 99 cents. That seems wrong. But um, 
1983 session. All right, now we're getting into the heavy hitters. This is the Wall Records. Everything was 20% off. I don't know this record, but I they posted it on Instagram, and I listened to it. Robert Rockwell III, Androids, on Celebration Records. I don't... This is the only pressing of this record. And I would... Ha, it says on the listing on Discogs Free Jazz, but it's more avant-garde, I think. There's a lot of um, keyboard and stuff. Robert Rockwell the third he played tenor and soprano saxophone bass clarinet and the water phone hmm um no i don't really recognize any of the other musicians on here bobby lyle will willard o peterson jr bill berg mike elliott steve kimmel bill uh Pushan, george avalaz Bruce Winderwald and Victor Lewis. I don't if any of you guys know stuff, but this is very interesting sounding. Let's show the uh, label here on um, this. None, you know, celebration. If any of you guys know anything about this, but this, I mean, with the twenty percent off and stuff, and and Records Safari prices their records pretty fairly, so not not even. Maybe around the disguise less than the medium price. So this was a cool pickup. I know, I believe this is a Rejoice Ferris Sanders. It's a double album from '81, I believe. Killer lineup on here: Joe Bonner, Art Davis, John Hicks, Billy Higgins, Bobby Hutchison, and Elvin Jones. Um, I you can get this uh, new pressed. I think Pure Pleasure put it out. I don't think it was uh, uh, Speaker's Corner. I think Pure Pleasure on Teresa Records here. It's always, so there you go there. But um, 1981, he does some Coltrane and some originals. Here's the inside. Um, so I've seen this record around, but I'm, I'm very happy I got an OG of it. All right, next, I'm trying to get more Marion Brown titles. This is Geechee Recollect Recollections on Impulse. I believe I read this is an album dedicated to Georgia. Um, on here, he's with Leo Smith, who I have an ECM record of, a trumpet player. Bill Hassan, James Jefferson, Steve McCall, A. Codniba Adensigne, I hope I said that right, William Malone, and Jama Santos from 1973 on Impulse. Let's open the inside here. Wow. And um, it's on that neon, I guess you, I call that the Neon Impulse label, ABC label. That was introduced in the early 70s. Anx anxious to get into this. Now, the final two hot ones. Archie Shep. Uh, it's a. Uh, it says mono there. I'm usually used to seeing them either put stereo or mono in the, the um, logo there, but um, Mama Too Tight, a portrait of Robert Thompson as a young man. Theme for Ernie and Bashir. Those are the songs. He's on here with Tommy, Tarantine, Roswell Rudd, who plays with him a lot, Gretchen Moncourt the third. Two trombone players, by the way, uh, Roswell Rudd and Gretchen Moncor, the third. Perry Robinson, Charlie Hayden, Howard Johnson, and Beaver Harris on drums. This is um, Bob Thiel produced like he does always. And it's on that beautiful OG Deep Groove Impulse. Anxious to listen to that. And then here's the killer. The killer one. The more ex most expensive one I got today. But I was more than happy to get this, so to get out of the plastic, is Al's Coltrane, um, Huntington Ashram Monastery. I believe this is her first album on uh, Impulse. Her first album. I don't know if she did anything. This is from 1969. And it's in killer condition. I just cleaned it and put it in a sleeve. But look, it's on that... Uh, Impulse ABC label, but um, it's a stereo copy. I don't know if it came out. I doubt it came out in mono, but I could be wrong. And um, this is killer. I'm not putting it back in there. So 
I'm very happy to have this. If you follow my channel, you can go look at a lot of my live streams. I think in the last two months, I've picked up a, most of my uh, Alice Coltrane stuff. I've picked up a lot. Very happy. Um, I have not been disappointed by anything she's put out. Well, that was the haul today. Pretty killer, would you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, it was an expensive day, I guess. But uh, very happy to have all of these. Um, and let me know your thoughts. As always, if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? These killer videos? I mostly do live streams, so just subscribe to see when I go live. I'm hilarious. And until next time, the waxed out.